from the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your evening update. Kent's Meats and Grocery is much more than a grocery store. We carry a full line of quality meats, local and organic vegetables, and a large variety of fish, Green Mountain Smart Control pellet grills, and a full deli case of sandwiches and side dishes. Well, it's definitely getting that time of the year. A lot of great Halloween events. This is a great one that is put on by the Cottonwood Veterinary Clinic and Small Animal Clinic in Cottonwood, of course. It's the second annual Moo and Boo open house event. A lot of great events going on over there. Of course, they get their educational presentations by their veterinarians. It'll be this Sunday, October 22nd from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. this upcoming Sunday. It's at 3917 Main Street Cottonwood behind the old auction yard, not to be confused with the old bone yard. No, it's the, it's the auction yard. I thought I'd try to be a little spooky there, but I don't think I'm very good at it. Uh, free admission and costumes are encouraged. You should check that out. I think it'd be a really cool event. It's the second year that they've done it. And last year was such a great success, they wanted to do it again this year. All right, so summer is making one last visit, or is it the last visit? I mean, it seems like it'd be done. Here we are in the middle of, of uh, October. We should be out of the 90s, but we're going to be looking at some 90s for some of the inland areas, for the valley in the next couple of days. But cooler this weekend with the potential for even some showers, especially by Sunday, mainly for the higher elevations and not to mention uh, even along the coast as well. But cooler and unsettled as we take you through next week. So yeah, it looks like that summer heat will be gone pretty quickly. So we have this big ridge of high pressure that is building, it's getting stronger, and that's what's gonna give us the warmer temperatures as we go into the next few days. There's the bubble of heat coming on in, and though those low 90s for the valley, low 90s inland as well, even getting close to, if not right around 70 for the coast. But this cooler air here, that's what's moving in over the weekend, not only cooling our temperatures back down to the 70s for the valley, but even bringing a chance for some showers, especially for the mountains and coasts, especially by Sunday. This warmer air looks like it may want to try to build back in again next week, but most likely staying below normal. Now, the precipitation outlook as we go in the next six to 10 days has us in the above normal category. Now, that all being said, that doesn't mean we're going to see above normal rainfall. But what this tells us is that, yeah, you know what? As we look at the extended outlook, there is the potential for some wet weather in the forecast. But again, not until this weekend and possibly even parts of next week. Big ridge of high pressure keeping us dry. But there you can see by Saturday, clouds moving in. Sunday, we've got that chance for showers. Now, you know, you can see it's mostly in the mountains along the coast. But, you know, it's not out of the question for the valley to maybe see some of that activity on Sunday as well. And this particular forecast model wants to dry us out come Monday, Tuesday. I am seeing some indication that by around Tuesday, Wednesday of next week, we could be maybe looking at the potential for some more wet weather. But that's a long ways out. Let's get through this heat wave, number one, and then, of course, that chance for showers over the weekend. Your wave heights, boy, they are increasing again here, even getting pretty close to along the coast here where we have some pretty high wave heights. As a matter of fact, there is a beach hazard statement. Now, what does that mean? Well, what that means is there's the risk for sneaker waves along the coast. Bottom line, don't turn your back to the ocean because the ocean may look calm, but then every once in a while, out of nowhere, you get this big rush of water that comes out. They're known as sneaker waves. They can pull you back into the ocean and it can be very dangerous, especially if you're going to be out kind of hopping the rocks on the, on the ocean or even just on the beach in general. It's not a good idea to really be spending a lot of time on that actual shore. Here's your marine forecast for tomorrow. Winds from the north at 5 to 10 knots. Your waves from the northwest at 5 feet at 7 seconds and from the west 7 feet at 13 seconds. There you can see that beach hazard statement I was just telling you about. All right, so here's what we have in store for us tonight. Temperatures dropping down mainly in the low to mid 50s for the valley. It's getting cold again for many of the higher elevations back down into the 30s. There you can see for Trinity County, low 50s, the inland, excuse me, Trinity County, more like the 40s, low 50s for the inland areas, that is, of Del Norte and Humboldt counties. And of course, maybe some fog developing once again overnight into the early morning hours. And for tomorrow, we're going to be looking at temperatures. There it is. We've got some 90s in the forecast for the valley once again. I know, I know, it's exhausting. We're like, come on, let's just bring on the cooler fall weather. But Mother Nature has a different idea. Temperatures in the 70s and 80s off to the east. You can see also upper 80s for Del Norton, Humboldt counties. And look at that. I mean, we're getting close to 70, I think, for some of us even along the coast. So here's a look at your seven day outlook. And what I've got here is Sunday for mainly the mountains and the coast to see a chance for showers. Now, right now I'm keeping Susanville dry on Sunday. That may change, 
But for now, it doesn't look like uh, the eastern mountains may see much in the way of rain over the weekend. Redding, Revla, Chico, the valley in general, also mainly dry for the weekend, but that could also change, especially on Sunday. Maybe a passing sprinkle or a light shower, otherwise dry, even as we go into next week as well. Temperatures dropping as well. Your seven-day outlook for the North Coast. Of course, you've got the showers on Sunday for pretty much the coast, inland, and not to mention Trinity County as well. Temperatures are also dropping by the weekend, and especially as we go into next week.